All right, there has been a lot of commotion over my work to end DEI and wokeness in corporate America. Most people are super happy about it. I've gotten so many emails of people thanking me who are super happy, employees calling out their workplaces, so on and so forth. It's been overwhelmingly positive, but there exists this small group of far left fanatics who've been extremely loud. They think I need to shut up and center black voices. Listen to black people, they say. And you know what? I take that to heart. I decided to have my team pull clips of black creators online and hear what they have to say about my work dismantling wokeness and DEI and corporate America. So let's take a look at a collage of black creators talking about our work ending DEI and wokeness in Walmart. Walmart understands that a lot of people who are conservatives like myself, we're not going for this woke culture no more. Woke culture is dying. Woke culture is dead, matter of fact. It is it's, it's being put to put to rest. All right. D-E-I, it's time to D-I-E. I'm here to see it. What is happening? Really, what is happening? Like, oh my God, common sense has been restored. You got Walmart like, hey, we gonna pull back on all this woke stuff. Yeah, I know y'all pulling back because y'all see who won. Winning. Well, it looks like Walmart is finally tired of losing money. Walmart becomes the latest and biggest retail company to roll back its DEI policies. Now, I've become well-versed in the, um, the euphemisms used by corporate America in order to disguise what they truly mean to say. So let me read this out in a way that we can all understand. Walmart finally realizes that this dumbass idea does not work if you want to make some money. Now, Robbie Starbuck, the last few months, has been doing these social media kind of pressure campaigns against American brands. These people, these companies seem to be changing. Hmm. But they already removed their DEI page off their website. Wow, good for them. When I said, but Walmart, Walmart, you would think with them having these people who are in these positions, these high paying positions, these very smart, intelligent people, a lot of them are not all that smart when it comes to certain things. See, Walmart hurt those pockets. What I mean is their money went down is because they thought that riding the wave of the DEI was the way to go. And we, the people, proved that it was not. We didn't want it. We didn't want any of that bull crap. Just do what you do. Be a good person. Be a good human. Whether you are trans, not trans, straight, crooked, forward, black, brown, be a good person. Be a good human. Sell the product that you want to sell. Sell me clothes. Sell me shoes. Sell me food. Sell me cars. Don't sell me this bull crap because nobody's buying it. And now Walmart learned their list because people were tired of the bull crap, y'all. We were tired of it. This is progress, though I will say that. Somebody says DEI is DEI. <laughs> DEI is dying. <laughs> DEI. <-ing. laughs> That's perfect. Walmart, what is the lesson to be learned here? Because America, we are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, look, that was a smart decision. And uh, I got to say, I appreciate Robbie Starbuck uh, and his wife for their efforts uh, to protect, you know, the babies. Now that the, the adults is back in office, is no longer supporting diversity, equity, and inclusion just because you are and because you was born something that you can't control. It's about who put out the best products. And I actually agree with that. I'm a equality of opportunity kind of guy. And I, and I think in an ideal world, you know, people should rise and fall based on their merits, based on their tenacity, their hard work, their natural talents. I just don't know as someone who owns a business, if I'm looking at hiring people and we have quite a few people we've hired and we're hiring even more as we're growing. And I'm, I'm not looking necessarily at a person's race. I, I want to look at who's the best person. And obviously we're gonna look at black people, women, Hispanics, white, whatever the case may be, because we, skills are most important to us. And I think in the business Business world, you want people who can do a great job so that you can maintain your capital market position for your investors and also serve your consumers. So I don't know what the end result of this ultimately is, but I think if you're giving everybody an equal opportunity for a position, for a role to do the job, and you're selecting people based on that solely, uh, then I think that's pretty fair. Getting into a position should have nothing to do with the fact of your skin color. And then yet we go around crying about racism, racism. You just hire that person because of their race. The same, look, I'm just, I'm gonna get on y'all. The same white folks, the same white liberals who all are out there, racism, our ancestors are the ones that the reason why black people are so suppressed and oppressed and they can't. You are the same ones that's cool with black people only being hired in certain positions just because they're black. But then yet you'll be mad if a white person hired a white person because they're white. Although it's a 90% chance that a black person who's being hired because they're black is being hired by a white person in whom you guys are all saying all white people are racist. Don't that make them even more racist than just hiring a person just because they're black? Yeah. Anyway. So Walmart is the first domino to fall in this new era, this post-woke, post-DEI era. And that's a big domino. I think that people see the writing on the wall. I think that people understand that they went too far and enough is enough. Obviously, comp companies are capitulating and hopefully they just keep it this way. You know, just, just sell products. All right. We, we don't need the woke stuff. We don't need anything extra. Sell a product and that is it. Don't be doing all this extra stuff. The science on DEI was really interesting, to say the least. The Network Cont Contagion Research Institute did a study with a uh, university and they found that DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, the studies, the things that they're teaching tend to lead to people becoming more hostile. See, what happens is people start to see racism where, everywhere, even where there's no evidence of racism. And that's the problem. So now we have a situation where I think the tide is turning. Walmart, they're going to ditch a lot of these DEI, LGBT uh, products. They're going to uh, question, they're going to review their funding for the Pride uh, events. They're going to look at a lot of their policies regarding um, 
DEI training and all this other stuff. So that should be really interesting. Walmart not only is saying, no, 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 we don't want to do DEI anymore internally, right? We're getting rid of that. Uh, but they're also saying we're not going to support woke initiatives anymore, right? Like selling woke paraphernalia and clothing to children, which is something that got Target in a whole lot of trouble. Walmart is sounding a whole lot like a company that wants to put America first. They're saying, yeah, we want to focus on small businesses and uh, suppliers that are American. We want to focus on uh, equal opportunity for everybody. We don't want to be in this race hustling game. We don't want to discriminate. We don't want to be given preferential treatment based on race or anything like that. Now, ironically enough, this diversity, equity, and inclusion has seldom included the diversity of thought, the diversity of idea, but instead diversity of complexion. So you basically just got rainbow nation, right? You got every single flavor and color, but they all think the damn same. And that's an issue, especially when their thinking is so far gone, they can't nobody get their job done. When their thinking doesn't lead to profit. I think that we need to go ahead and get away from the whole racist trope. I'm tired of watching slave movies. I'm tired of people complaining about something that they ain't never been through before. So miss me with the Victim Olympics and having a conversation about whether or not you want to support Walmart or whether you're going to shop there, you're going to shop where it's the most convenient. I don't care. I don't think Walmart cares. And I think that more than half the country have already voted that they're not rocking with diversity, equity, and inclusion and identity politics as of yesteryear. This is not what we wanted. We do not want these ideologies. They're too radical. They do not talk to what we're speaking about in our own personal lives. And we're not going to support you if you do this. And that's what Walmart understood. Ending racial equity training for staff. Okay, so that, you know, train, hey, when Tyrone's around, you can't say, you can't, you gotta treat him like he's special because yeah. he's black. Right, you know? ending racial equity training is just basically teaching people how to treat other people differently. Yeah, right. And then evaluating programs to increase supply diversity. No, you go with the, the supply that, you know, fits your goals, your your price target, your products are good. It has nothing to do with your color, your ethnicity. Yeah. Reviewing, reviewing funding of pride events. Why are you funding gay events? <laughs> let, let, let the alphabet people fund their own events. Yeah. Why you gotta pay for it? Yeah, I never understood that neither. Um, removing transgender products marketed to kids. That, that doesn't make no sense. That's a no brainer. <laughs> Why you even did that to begin with? Man, I tell you, man, I could be a CEO. Yeah, be one of the best they ever did. To all events that could be sexually inappropriate for kids, that includes drag queen story time or pride events Wait, that man. expose kids to sexually inappropriate topics. That's all going to stop going forward. This man, I told y'all what was going to take place, man, and I'm just here to put a little emphasis on it. Ugh. Couldn't wait to break the news to y'all, man. Woo! We ended off November strong, man. Now my thing is this: as an adult and as a human being, if that's the lifestyle you want to live, if you want to live in this woke culture and this, 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 and that, cool. Don't push it on the little children. That's my problem. And that's what Trump's problem is. Everybody thinks Trump is against all these LBGT people. He's not against the people. He's against the practices being pushed on children. As I'm against the practices being pushed on children. Affirmative action is racism under new management. If you think about the initiative that they were pushing, specifically the DEI program, that's just another disguised way of performing racism against everybody else who's not in that initiative. And this is the issue that I've always had. And I'm a black man, so I would be considered part of the DEI uh, initiative. But I always say this, right is right and wrong is wrong. DEI was just a different form of racism against the people who the group didn't have inside of it. Like for you to be using DEI to decide whether people get jobs, people get uh, education, people get low, how was that any different than segregation was back in the day? How was it any different than blatant racism was when people of, of my skin tone were not getting loans or not getting jobs or not being allowed in certain restaurants and stuff like that? Like, I don't understand how people don't see that. You're not using the DEI to help people, you're using the DEI to exclude people. It is unfortunate, but we will as a nation have to resist these type of uh, reversal. Nah. Nah, we're going to support these type of reversals. <laughs> we, we're not going to resist it. We are going to support it because at the end of the day, we are all Americans. Doesn't matter what your skin color is. That, that's one thing that, um, you know, it's quite annoying. You heard him talk about it there and I was just like, come on, bro. Like, I'm just shaking my head. You know, it, it, like we don't need to celebrate me being black. Like, I, I don't celebrate white people being white. Like, no, like why, why, why do people need to put me on a pedestal simply because of the color of my skin? That's weird. Treat me the same way you treat everybody else. Let me compete the same way everybody else competes. And may the, may the best man or woman win. It's, it's as simple as that. Woo! You damn right, Walmart. Because I like shopping at your store. Yeah. Woo! They are America's biggest employer. Hey, that's huge. Huge. A complete combination of idiot management and the <laughs> This whole industry's failure from businesses, they're all businesses, but you know, these businesses like Target, you know, Anheuser-Busch, all the way to these, the comic books, to the, the, the video games, the movies, the television series, come on, their failure to read the room and really know what America wanted. I knew, Neurotic knew, Critical Drinker knew, Eric July knew, Heels versus Babyface knew, okay? And a lot more all knew what the hell was going on and how the people felt. Like I said, we kind of have a unique perspective because we have fans all over the world that write us and send us stuff. I knew how the world felt. And I knew that the majority of the world felt this way. I knew it wasn't the other way around. And you can be mad about this all you want, but if you are mad about this, it's because you're part of the small group that has taken it too far. When you're dealing with a nation trying to find its identity again, you're gonna to have to understand that your radical ideas is not an overall sentiment for the country, especially when you're dealing with pushing ideologies on children. Right. I think that right there, right, like, right. gender re uh, reaffirming care and the ability for kids to make decisions about their bodies without their parents' approval, right. all of these things under the umbrella of this DEI initiative is going to be dismissed. It's, it's like the, the, the dude's reading my mind as he's talking there because I was going to make that exact same point. Because people who don't even usually typically even care about politics, when they hear about gender affirming care and they realize that that's what's happening, that's, that's a top priority, 
They just think like, okay, who are these crazy people? Right now you have their attention and you're encouraging policies and practices where you can take their children and make decisions for their children or allow their children to make life altering decisions that cannot be reversed. That's when you have the attention of the common folk who really, when they hear that, just puts you in the category of crazy. And the people who support that, they are so far off that they think everyone else is crazy, right? That the larger majority is crazy for not supporting those type of policies. You lose everybody. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. As soon as you say, oh yeah, gender affirming care, that's good. You've lost people who have common sense. These radical ideas cannot continue because it's destroyed the country and you've seen the results on your own. So bravo to Walmart. Let's see what people have to say. First comment here says, dude, drop bars. I've been screaming this all along. Somebody else here added, thank God Almighty. Here's another comment that says, thank you. You were able to articulate what I've been thinking for a while. We're practicing actions that we've been working very hard to get rid of in our society. And it was discriminatory, as per that commenter says. Here's somebody else who says, it should always be about qualifications and hard work, nothing else. So I'm glad to hear that. You're absolutely right. Earn it. Do you think they need their diversity, equity, and inclusion? No. Y'all can stop capping on Walmart. Walmart, I got y'all back on this one. <laughs> y'all don't get no slam today. Bye, Gail. I don't know who I'm slamming. Bye, Gail King. Bye, CBS. Bye, Nate Burleson. Walmart says it's ending racial equity training programs for staff. Evalu it's about time. Trump get elected. They all get some act right, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I feel like, look, man, people spend a lot of money there. The best thing you can do is just stay neutral. You'll be fine. All right. Just just be a company that sells products. That's that's it.